My name is Catherine Copeland. I was born 1923. I've been a parishioner at Grace Church since I was three months old. My parents and my grandparents were members of Grace Church. Well, we were the only black family in the church at the time, and this was our home. We lived in a neighborhood, and this is the only church I've ever known all my life. I remember my Sunday school teacher. Her name was Mrs. Van Dyne, and she was very kind, gentle. I learned a lot from her. I remember Father Gump because he was also stern, but I loved him. <laughs> At one time, I had moved away, but I came back, and that's the most important thing that I'm back. What brought me back was something that happened in my life. I was sitting in my house, and the phone rang, and it was a hospital. And they wanted to know, did I have a son? And I said, yes. He had come home from work, and some, somebody attacked him. That was a big turning point in my life. She brought me here. And her and I prayed together, and I've been here ever since. Grace Church means a lot to me. It gives me my spiritual uplift. It gives me comfort. I can't stop from sitting in church and looking all around every Sunday. My sister wants to know what I'm looking at. I said, I'm looking at the church. I love the children. I've been a mother, a grandmother, and a great-grandmother. So I'm just like a surrogate grandmother, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> To be a Christian means a lot to me because it means I have learned something from the church and from God that I can treat my, how to treat my neighbor, uh, how to treat the unfortunate, which I do, uh, how to treat the downtrodden, which, which I tried that I do, and how to love regardless if the love wants to be accepted. That's, that's how I feel as a Christian. I know one thing, it's my faith. I, I can't lose it, and I have been sometimes been tempted to change my faith. But this is where I belong, and this is where I started, and this is where I'm happy, and this is where I worship my Lord. I'm right here, and I'm going to stay here, even though I've been really tempted. You'd be surprised how people have tempted me to get out of here. <laughs> my children. <laughs> I feel there's things that maybe... Maybe it's not a lot of money, but somewhere it might help. It might, it, well, as my mother used to say, every little bit helps. And maybe I don't, I can't give a lot, but I feel that whatever I give is helping. And it's helping the church. If I give more, I give more. If I can't, then I go back to what I can do, okay? But that's how I feel about the financial part, you know, because that few, few dollars keeps our church going. And it takes a lot of money to keep a church. I had a friend that I was trying to bring into the church. I would tell them this, just like this, that my church, I know you like my church. You like the people, and you will like my minister. That's everything. When the church gives you the warmth that you want when you walk in.